Hi friends, I'm Miss Cat, I'm one of Sam Educators at Boys and Girls Club, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a volleyball machine. When I say build a volleyball machine, you're probably thinking, what's a machine? So a machine is an operational device that um, performs a task. So in this case, we are going to make a mechanical one, or one that moves because of the forces um, of our hands or motion, and it is going to represent us playing a volleyball game. So, you know, in volleyball, you um, hit the ball back and forth over a net, and that is basically what our machines are gonna do. So let's get started. So the materials you're gonna need for this project are cardboard, large cups, and it can be paper or plastic, some wooden popsicle or craft sticks, some paper, some pencils, some rubber bands, scissors and tape, and a ping pong ball. And we can get started. So the two machines that we're going to be building, so on one side of the net is going to be one that launches the ball over. And so that I'm thinking like a catapult or a machine that's going to projectile launch a the ping pong ball over. And then the other machine is going to catch the ball safely. There are only a few rules for this challenge. You can only use the materials that I told you you could. You have to build both machines on either side of the net. Your machines cannot touch each other because the net has to be separating it and it cannot touch the net. So as you're thinking about how you're going to go about this, try to think of how am I going to build a machine that's going to launch our ping pong ball over the net. And so I'm thinking, what's a simple way to make a catapult? And so that is what I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. And full disclaimer, you don't have to do it how I'm doing it. I'm just showing you one way. There are probably so many ways of doing this um, engineering challenge, and I hope you do explore other ways of accomplishing this task. So first, I want to create the net. And the net is going to be, for me, a very simple um, folded piece of paper. So let's show how I'm going to do that. So first, I'm going to fold this paper in half lengthwise, and then I'm going to fold little um, half-inch folds on the longer sides. And so this is where I'm going to tape the net down to my table, and then this is what it looks like. All right, next, I'm going to think about how I'm going to do my catapult. So I'm thinking I might want to use something that's tall so that it's going to go over my net. So something that I have that, that was tall was some of the plastic cups. And then I'm thinking, how am I going to make a catapult from them? So my first instinct is to just kind of place them here and just kind of look what could um, lay across the top so that we could have the um, catapult be on top of that. So for this part of my catapult, I'm just taping down my pencil onto the top of both the big cups. And then I'm going to create a lever and put it on top. Lever is a simple machine where when you push down, it's going to push something else. And so an example of a lever is on your bicycle, your pedals, as you push, it also pushes on the wheels and the gears to turn the bike and make it move. And so that's what this is going to be. And I'm trying to think right now how I'm going to attach this without securing it because the pencil is not moving. And so I need only this to move and for this to stay still. So I'm thinking I might have to use my rubber bands right now. So I just secured my lever to the pencil by wrapping a rubber band around both. So now that I have my lever, I want to make something here to hold my ping pong ball. So when I um, am ready to launch it, it's not just going to roll off um, of this lever. Because right now, if I have my lever like this, it is actually another simple machine. This right now is an inclined plane. An inclined plane or a ramp is usually used to help um, move objects with less force. And so instead of picking up something and moving it, it you, you can just roll it or push it up a ramp. And so it, you know, you exert less force and it's a lot easier to do. Or the opposite way, you can push something down instead of having it drop and um, letting gravity um, increase its velocity too much for where it could be destroyed. So I'm going to make something, I think probably out of paper to put here and then so I can hold my ping pong ball. So all I did for this was um, make a cube out of the paper and then I cut one of the faces off and so now it can hold my ball and it's attached to my lever so now it looks like this. So now that I have this secure I want to kind of test with my ping pong ball to see if it's going to go over my net. Put it in there. Amazing! I can either adjust it so that um, depending on the length of it if it's going to go too far or too short I need to think about that and where I want it to land. And so that concept is called projectile launching. And so the longer that you have your lever, so it is going to affect how far. So the longer it is, the more likely the further it's going to go. It also depends on your force. So if I did it really hard, I'm pretty sure it might go super fast, right? And further, like, but if I slowly did it like this and it falls out right over the net, right? And so I have to keep that in mind. It's like, one, how much force am I going to put down on my levers? And two, how long am I going to make my lever? So now that I have my catapult kind of ready, I'm going to try and make my machine that is going to catch my ball. So for this machine, I basically kind of did the same thing, but made it bigger and wider. And then I want it to sit at an incline. So I'm going to have to um, 
increase the height of one of the sides. And so I'm going to use my popsicle sticks and rubber bands to make a ramp or um, legs for the paper ramp. And then I'm going to secure it with tape. So now I have my volleyball machine pretty much done, um, but now I'm going to test it to see if it actually works. So this is my machine and my ball is in here. And then this is where my ramp was. And so I'm just going to see if it works. Okay, so I, I see a lot of things going on right now. So one, I need to secure this better here. And two, I have to do it really slowly and with a lot less force than I would like to get the ball from here and catapult it into here. And because I think this the lever is still too long and, you know, I was just afraid that this was going to fall off and it did. So these are some, you know, um, things I could go back and work on. But I want you to critically look at um, whenever you're working through it or at the end, I want you to... Um, I want you to question what you could improve because as engineers, we're always looking for ways to improve. Like your phone is always being updated. Your computers are already like needed, you know, a new model. And so that's why we need to keep practicing the idea of um, there's no such thing as a finished product, right? Because we can always improve what we have because it worked, right? But I want it to work better. So I hope you enjoyed this project and stay tuned for more STEM videos.